Shalom. Shalom. I'm going to start with Zorba giving the priest to your help. Bashem. Bashem. Yeah, Shai. Bashem. Rukar Kadash. That belongs to the apostles of GMS and honors to you, brothers, doing the work and truth for our sincerity. Well, um, yeah, just going to do a quick one. See uh, see where the spirit leads. Put the gun on, pocket. And see where the spirit leads. Right, um, what did you call it? So you had, uh, you know, the whole fallout with Serena Williams and, uh, you know, the chick Naomi Osaka, right? Who, uh, what did you call it, you know, over there in the tennis world, right? And, you know, the, you, you see the Naomi Osaka uh, 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 thing. You know, you, you, you hear the name, you're immediately, and the way it's uh, advertised uh, and rather spoken about in the media, yours, you're just assuming, yo, you know, this, this is some... Uh, would you call it some uh, uh, some any any Japanese chick, whatever, what have you? Then you see the pictures of her, and to be fair, when I saw the picture of her, I was like, me personally, I was like, all right, you know, because you do get dark skin, uh, darker skin, uh, Jap so called Japanese and Chinese people. But when I saw it, I was there like, oh, maybe she's a would you call it? Maybe she's a, uh, a one of those dark ones. Well, then you come to find out that she's actually, uh, what you call it, straight up mixed race, quote unquote. Right, her father is a straight up uh, Haitian, man. Right, you know, but she's got the name Osaka, whatever, what have you. And the way these guys were, 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 were lauding her as being, what do you call it, being, uh, you know, a Japanese woman, when really she's a Jape, man. She's, she, you know, she, she's a, a what do you call, it, of, 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 you know, of the tribe of Levi. Right, if you could um, get me numbers one eighteen real quick. Mm -hmm. This is Numbers chapter 1, verse 18. And they assembled all the congregation together on the first day of the second month, and they declared their pedigrees after their families mm -hmm. by the house of their fathers. Right, so they, they declared their lineage after the house of their fathers. Right, which goes to show you that, you know, you got those gut rats over there in the land of Israel, right, who are claiming to be us. Right, they claim them to be us, but they they do their whole lineage through through the mother, right? Which is contrary to what the scripture is saying. They can't argue and say, "Oh no, that's not part of the Torah or whatever, what have you," because that's that <laughs> that was our numbers, man. Right? You look like you, look like you got something. Yeah, this is Isaiah chapter eleven, verse eleven, and it shall come to pass in that day that the Lord shall set His hand again the second time to recover the remnant of His people. Which shall be led from Assyria mm -hmm. and from Egypt and from Pathros and from Cush and from Elam and from Shinar and from Hamath and from the islands of the sea. And I just brought it out because, um, uh, well, it goes on to say that the four corners of the earth are dispersed for the islands of the sea. Now, one of the islands of the sea is Japan. Mm -hmm. Okay, you've got the Ammonites living over there, but also our seed is also over there as well, man, because. The Lord said, what, from the islands of the sea, he's going to recover the remnant of our people. That means that our seed is also over there. Yeah. You've got the samurai, you know, you've got the different, um, you know, Miyamoto, yeah. Musashi and all that, you know, famous warriors and all that. Hey, most of them were Jake, man, yeah. you know. Um, and even if you, like, go over there, you can, I mean, even, like, okay, let me give you an example now. In Japan, in this generation right now, you got you got hella Benjamites over there in um, Japan, man. Mm -hmm. Okay, they're listening to like, um, you know, basically like bashment, yeah, dance yeah. hall. There's a big scene over there yeah, in Japan. Yeah, yeah. Hey, hey, I'll be honest. Uh, when, when I saw it, I was like, God damn, you know, bitches all whining in the kimono and shit. Mm. But. Right, right. Because that's, hey, the reason why they're doing that, the reason why they're, because Benjamin are uh, so-called West Indians, mm. right? The reason why they're getting into that kind of music, the younger crowd and all that. And then, you know, you see them in the raves, they're just, you know, vibes in and doing all that. That's because they're Jake, man. That's because, um, you know, you got our seed over there, man. Yeah. And they spread around. Now, this woman that the brother's speaking about in this tennis, right, her father's a Haitian, right? Yeah. Which is the, the, from the tribe of Levi. Yeah. Right? The so-called Haitians are the tribe of Levi. So, now, we just read that her, the father's line is what you go through. Mm. Now, okay, her woman, her, her mother might be an Ammonite, which is a so-called Japanese, Right? But it's determined by who the father is. That's the spirit. Okay, so she might look like a, you know, a woman who, you know, they call them Blasian. Yep. That's what they call them, right? You know, she might uh, have, you know, features of, features of an Israelite and features of, a, of an Ammonite, right, in her look. But the way that she is, the way her spirit is going to come from her father's line, which is what? It's going to come from um, being an Israelite, man. You know, and, the, you know, I believe she, what, she, she, 
she beat Serena. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? I, I, I don't know if that was in sick because there was a whole load of controversy around the match, and I, I, you know, I ain't a t- but, tennis fan like that. The point is, I mean, I don't watch tennis, so but I know that she, she's the, up there because yeah. she's facing Serena, yeah. and Serena is one of the legends in the women's tennis. Mm. So if you're facing Serena, then obviously you're on some kind of level, you know, even if there's controversy or whatever. Yeah. So that means that you're on a, a level in terms of the tennis. And, um, you know, as we just read, there's outcasts out there. So that just goes to prove that we have our people spread among the different nations. Yep. And those nations that are, they're spread among don't know. Yeah, They're looking at it like, oh, that's our people. Yeah. Oh, look how great they are. Yeah. You know, you've got the Moab with, with Bruce Lee. Yeah, yeah. But actually, hey, the greatest people that ever lived have always been. Uh, exactly. You know what? I've got a preset unless you've got. Yeah, I've got, I've got the one you want. Yeah, go on. You've got huh? Matthews. No, I was going to go something else. Go on. Oh, okay, it's Matthew 513. It says, Ye of the salt of the earth. But if the salt have lost its savour, wherewith shall it be salted? Mm. It is thenceforth good for nothing but to be cast out, to be trodden underfoot. Now the point I wanted to get there was ye are the salt of the earth. Right, which is which is what Jake which is what Jake is. That's that's why you got this uh which got this this chick over there, right, um, you know, you know, competing at such a high level, right, to the fact that she's she's playing Serena in the US Open, I believe final even, mm. right, if I'm not mistaken, right? You know, so obviously, you know, but but even amongst the ones that don't look so called dark skin, whatever, what have you, right? The best ones among them, they're Jakes, right? Because these heathens aren't good for. If you see a heathen doing something that requires skill and talent, right? So called heathen, they're not the heathen. They're in Islam front, as we read over there in Isaiah eleven eleven, right? Because yeah. to to say a heathen can do the things that Jake can do, right? You're basically, you, you know, you're basically because right. uh, heathens can do things, yeah. But not on the level of Jake. Yeah, yeah. When Jake really gets into something, Jake's on the top because he was yeah, created that way. Exactly. That, that's basically putting these heathens, giving these heathens too much uh, uh, acclaim, too much, uh, uh, you know, I um, can't think of a word. Right, but that's basically not putting that distinction between Jake and the heath. Let's say, oh, let's say you could get some Moabite that could dance, like a straight up Moabite. Right, he could dance better than James Brown. Right, and Michael Jackson. Right, then... Where's the distinction? Where is Israel's better than everywhere else in that, man? I've got a precept. Yeah, yeah. yeah. This is Lamentations chapter 2, verse 15. All that pass by clap their hands at thee, they hiss and wag their head at the daughter of Jerusalem, saying, Is this the city that men call the perfection of beauty, the joy of the whole earth? Now, that means that our people, they had a reputation at one mm. point. Right now, we're in a low reputation, mm. okay? And I can bring that out in the curses. But we had a reputation, man. You know, King David, uh, King Solomon, and 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 and, and the, the kings that after we had a reputation on the earth, man. So people knew oh, that's the Israelites. That's the Israelites. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But right now, we're in a low state. There's people don't know about the Israelites. They only mm-hmm. know through the spirit and power of Yahweh Hashem and in this day because the prophets are on the highways and byways. But they don't know that, man. They're looking at. But at one point, our people looked at like, oh, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. that's the Israelites. Or oh, they they kind of stay to them. They're all trying to, you know, con- different empires conquering our people mm. and all that and doing all that. Like you had the story in, um, in I think it was uh, in Judith. Mm. I think it was uh, even Ammonite. I believe it might have been Ammonite captain that was basically giving counsel and saying, yeah, you know, if these, if these people, yeah, some, yeah. if these people go off against their Lord yeah, and break the commandments, yeah. then we can fuck them up. But if they're cool, we can't do nothing against them. If they're, they're following the commandments, mm. the Lord's gonna basically protect them isn't it mm. so these heathen always knew that man these heathen have always known that our people have been special but now that because what it says it said men call the perfection of beauty the joy of the whole earth the joy of the whole earth the mm. flavor mm. the 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 best things the highest you know what i mean but hey even though they're still enjoying they're still enjoying our flavor yeah right they're still enjoying our food our culture our dances they and all of that they get all the good things of, of what we can have to offer, right? It, mm. Under their under their captivity, but but the one thing is, you're just a slave. Mm, exactly. You're below. Exactly. Like, they don't want to actually deal with the people. That, they don't want to. They want to take all the culture. They want to take all the flavor, the juice exactly. out of the, out of the fruits. Exactly. But they don't want to actually deal with what's going on. Yeah, and anything that gives them, uh, what you call it, a claim, which is why I wanted to get into this topic because it, over there in Japan they've got a term hafu h a f u. Right, which is which is derived from the English half, right? Basically, it's basically like you know, hey, you know, you have it, or whatever. We're right, basically saying they ain't pure Japanese, but because now she's giving a, a, a claim 
to what you call it to Japan now they want to rally behind and be like oh yeah uh, what you call it what you call it whatever her name is Naomi Osaka right but this is just two years ago right this is uh, Ariana Miyamoto right if you just look up Miss uh, Miss Japan from 2016 you know she's a fine fine piece <laughs> mm. she's a fine piece yeah right was it no 20 Miss Japan 2015 it, it looks like Right, but what's the headline? Half Japanese, half black. Why new Miss Japan isn't Japanese enough? Right, so on one hand, they're talking about, ah, oh, no, these hafus aren't Japanese. But now that they're winning, and then now it's on an international stage and they're representing, right, right all of a sudden, oh, yeah, you saw that with the World Cup in France. Yeah. Right, you, hey, these, these, French, these French devils, man. Right, they were all uh, applauding a bunch of Africans, right, which is what, <laughs> you know, um, Really, they're Israelites, and they're applauding them. But you know those those fucking uh, French devils don't like Jake, man. Mm -hmm. Right, brothers have been over there, try to get a taxi or whatever, right, and then they sh sh just keep going past, man. I don't like Jake over there. As long as Jake is, and you got that scripture yeah. song. As long as Jake is, you know, doing good for what their purpose is, mm. they're happy. Yeah. Okay, you know, oh, you know, if you're like, for example, you, you might be scoring goals on a football team or you, let, you play for the England Cup, you know, England yeah. team, you're scoring them goals, right? And you're a Jake and you're an Israelite. The minute, you, yeah, he's a good, he's a good black, that yeah. one, you know, all that, right? The minute you stop scoring them goals, man, hey, that's when it all comes out, man, you know? All the derogatory terms, all the yeah. bywords, that's when they start coming out, man. Because really, they hate our people, man. Mm. These, 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 these heathen nations, man, these, our enemies, man. They really hate our people, but they just want to use and abuse our people, man. You got it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, this is Psalms 137 and 3. It says, for there, they, for there they that carried us away uh, captive required of us a song, mm. and they that wasted us required of us mirth. Entertainment. Yeah. Entertainment. You got our entertainers, our singers. Yeah. You got pretty much the, the, the actors, all the, pretty much the ed entertainment industry. Is all up, Jake. You got um, Iggy Azalea, right? You watch Iggy Azalea. She's from Australia, right? So you just think, oh, that's just some white woman. Mm. You will go watch a watch a video of her, right? She's shaking her ass just like the rest yeah, of these she's, black she's holes, man. Ass black woman, man. That just just yeah. like the rest of these yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, are women that are just acting like harlots, man. In these videos, man, there ain't no difference really. I don't I didn't see when I watched the video, which I don't really watch them kind of videos mm. too much. But I saw it and I, was, I thought, oh, there's no difference between her and. Um, this Nicki Minaj yeah, character. Yeah, yeah. I was just yeah. like, same shit, man. Iggy Azalea. Uh, what's another example? You know, even like uh, amongst the, you know, well, you even got, you got, um, well, like, that's the pretty much the example, man. But our people, man, all the top people, Michael Jackson, yeah. Re what, Aretha Franklin died recently. Mm. You know, you had, um, uh, you know, uh, comedy, what you got, Dave Chappelle, Bernie Mac. Yeah. You know, you got, uh, you know, um, what, and acting. You know, you got, a t well, even like, you know, I can, what, Tom Hardy, he's a Jake. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? Uh, Leonardo DiCaprio, Jake. You know, what's what's another, like, Robert De Niro, Jake. You know, yeah. all these heavyweights, all these top names, Al Pacino, they're all, they're all Israelites, man. As long as you're doing good, cool, man. But the minute that you start fucking up, yeah, you know, which with the Israelite foreigners, they're so under the curses, but they can kind of get away with it. But if you look like a, you know, straight up, um, straight up so-called yeah. Negro, then forget it, man. Yep. You know, go on. Up. So Sirach 13, I'm going to start from verse 3, uh, read into it a bit. It says, The rich man hath done wrong, and yet he threateneth with all. The poor is wronged, and he must entreat also. If thou be for his profit, he will use thee. But if thou have nothing, he will forsake thee. If thou have anything, he will live with thee. Yea, he will make thee bear and will not be sorry for it. Mm. If, he had a, if he have need of thee, he will deceive thee and smile upon thee and put thee in hope. He will speak thee fair and say, what wantest thou? You know what that made me think about? Um, you know, uh, Gad, Reuben. Mm. Made me think about them, man. Th those tribes. Because why? Because our, our, our people, what they, they came over and they did the treaties. They had, they had all these riches. Hey, it, there's, there's accounts of um, the children of our people over in America, mm. right? You know, Gad and Reuben and all that, playing with, um, playing with like gold in the streams and all that, man. Playing, yeah. Children playing with that, man. And what, 
hey, this, hey, I remember the elder bringing it out of the camp like, uh, this week. He was saying, look, so one tribe was barely escaping going to the other yeah, tribe and yeah, saying, yeah. look, take all your gold, all that, and hide it. Because mm-hmm. if, if the so-called white man, the devil, if he finds it, he's going to store all of you yeah. for it. You know? Our people have always been the ones that have had all it, all of it, man. All the, all the flavour, all, all the riches, all that, and it's always been stopped. It's, it's been taken away from us, man. Yeah. You know? And ultimately, it goes back to what? That we broke the commandments of the, of the Heavenly Father, man. Yeah. You know, that's why we're under the curses. Yeah. Yeah, if I can speak also on that, and you, like I said, you, you see that amongst Jakes all the time. Well, about how, you know, hey, for instance, like the gift that Naomi Osaka, she right now has use for Japan. Mm-hmm. Right, The whole of Japan can band behind her and then go to the whole world. Look, we have a, what do you call it? We have a tennis, uh, a tennis champion who is Japanese, right? Whereas the other one, Aria, Aria whatever her, that bitch's name was, Ariana Miyamoto, Right, they couldn't lord her to the world and say, "Look, you know, the 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 world's most beautiful woman right now is a Japanese one." Why? Because it was Miss, you know, it was Miss Japan, right? So then they didn't have need of her like that, man. Yeah. Same thing happens with uh, what do you call it? And that's how we. Like, if you get Deuteronomy twenty eight, it speaks about um, these cursed shall pursue thee. All right, cool. Uh, is that forty something, forty six something? Like that. 45. There should be a forty five. This is Deuteronomy 28 and 45. Moreover, all these curses shall come upon thee and shall pursue thee. Right, pursue thee. So, hey, you, you might uh, get, you might see a Jay, you know, who, who's got money, right? Yeah, or is a lot foreign and who's got money. Well, you can't let, you know, money sway the fact, you know, that, he, you know, uh, you think he was a Jay, but he's rich. You'll get Jakes that are, that are you know, with money. Mm-hmm. Right, Joseph Arimith- Arimathea, yep. as an example, yep. you know. Yep. Yeah, you know, but I mean, even in this world, like you know, you get hundreds of millions or whatever, or having, but they're still jets, mm. right? But as it say, these curses shall pursue you, so he'll be all there, happy, you know, doing what he's doing, right? But then one day, them curses go and come find him, man. Those curses, you know, you get um everyone, you, you know, you might be uh thinking of, you know, you might be in a gang or whatever. And you're scared that one day the rival gang's gonna come and knock your door. But that's how these curses are, man. Hey, what did Liam Neeson say? I will, I will find you <laughs> and I will kill you. That's what these curses do. Well, the guy that made, um, was distilling the, the whiskey for Jack Daniels. Mm. And he showed, showed him the techniques and all oh, that. Yeah, yeah. He was like, all up in the pictures with Master. Mm. You know, they gave him the credit. They so called, you know. The friend, well, so called gave him the credit. Mm. You know, he's up on certain adverts and they'll talk about him and all that. Now, after all this, yeah. after it's all said and done and made all this profit, right? It's because it came out. <laughs> right? Because it came out. They got researched, they got came out. So the devil, you know, mm. got confronted with the truth. But, well, I mean, how much How much is he really getting off it? Mm. How much is his family really living? You know, yeah, how yeah, well did well. How he was still a slave. Yeah. Okay, maybe he was living a bit better, mm. right? But he had to do it through what? The channels of the so-called white man. Yeah. To this day. And the so-called white man has still got his, his face on that, man. Yeah, yeah. On that Jack Daniels, man. You know, when you when you don't when you think of these big corporations, you ain't thinking of Jake. Yeah. You're not thinking that Jake made it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? When you think of um you know well, that, well the real McCoy is an yeah, example. Yeah, I was thinking of that. Yeah, yeah. Well you know, there's different examples. Yeah. Basically Jake has been Done been not getting credit for shit that they've been doing, man. Well, I fucking even say, even today in these corporations, man, you have Jake in the middle of them or whatever, what have you, right? You may be in like, you know, small business, business, whatever, right? You see your managers don't know what the fuck they're doing. But then you have Jake, you know, even just maybe in, in a lower rungs, you should be there like, nah, you do it like that. Mm. And they'll be like, well, yeah, so it's a good idea. But is he ever going to get credit for that idea? That idea... Maybe the idea that, that makes that company billions, billions, yeah. whatever. He's never going to get credit for that. Yeah, same thing with universities. Yep, yeah. You know, they're just sucking in all of Jake's flavor, all of Jake's ideas, man. When Jake, hey, Jake will just come into something and just make it cool. Yeah. Okay, when, when they were having, when they were playing basketball and they were doing all, you know, mm. all that and all that, Jake came in there and just <laughs> bang, start <laughs> slamming it. And they, everyone was just looking at it like, Whoa. Boxing's an example. Oh, right, that's a good. Yeah, I know. Yeah, go on. Right, at yeah, first, yeah, yeah. they used to do. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you punch. Right? <laughs> I've got another example yeah. after this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, but then one day Jake went in there. And I was like, whoa. Is that the robot? He ain't going off. Yeah, it was like, he ain't going off. It was yeah. like, 
Oh, okay. Well, even the okay, the soulful white man, even the way he used to fight war, mm. he used to line up. Oh yeah. yeah, line yeah up. Yeah, then yeah, the cavalry yeah, would come yeah, in and they'd just yeah. be shooting each other in the line. Then when they, when they went against what um, all the, mm. the tribes, the warrior tribes, you know, Gad, Reuben, and Manasseh and all that. Mm. When they went against them over in the Americas, predominantly Gad and all that. Yeah. What happened? Guerrilla warfare. Yeah. And they still use that to, to today, man. They got the commandos, yeah. the tomahawks and all that. That's all Jake invented all that, man. I've got a scripture up. Yeah, yeah. This is Deuteronomy 7 and 6. For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. The Lord thy God hath chosen thee to be a special people unto himself, above all people that are upon the face of the earth. So, we are above all people on the face of the earth, man, because the Lord has made it that way, man. It's as simple as that. The only reason we're in the condition we're in now is because we went off. You know, this is between us and the Lord, man. Mm. And the Lord is going to what? The Lord sent his son, right, for the remish, remission of sins. Yeah. So that the ones that do believe, the ones that do, uh, you know, the elect of the nation of Israel, they're going to be saved out of, the, out of the hands of their enemies, man. Okay, when the destruction comes, when the judgment comes upon this earth, man. You know, I had another quick yeah. one. This is, this, is, this is part of the curses. Deuteronomy chapter 28. Verse 43, the stranger that is within thee shall get up above thee very high, and thou shalt come down very low. So we're in a, in a low state right now, man. Wherever we are, no matter what country you're in, the stranger there, the, uh, uh, these other uh, you know nations or whatever, they're basically going to be above us, man. Okay? They are going to be above us. We're going to be always at a low point. No matter how high you are, you, you're never gonna, they're always going to question. They're never gonna, you're never going to get the full... And the minute that you you ain't delivering what they want from you, yeah, like a good slave, yeah, and then or fulfilling their agenda, you're gonna be cast away, man. Hey, let me read that for you again. This is back in uh, the Sirach thirteen and verse four. If thou be for his prophet, he will use thee. But if thou have nothing, he will forsake thee. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That well, we got right? yeah. Hey, no, I mean, they, hey, it's not really much to say about that. Who, yeah. who, who, who behaves like that? Right, who, who, who does that? And that's Esau. Uh, and oh, yeah, we're still reading Deuteronomy, aren't we? Yeah. Yeah, if you, if you grab that again. Can't, can't. And it says, uh, from verse 45, I'll read it again. Moreover, all these curses shall come upon thee and shall pursue thee. Yeah, and pursue thee. Mm. Right, so for instance, you had uh, the guy Erzul, right? He was a Turkish uh, football, player? football player who plays for Germany. Cause, you know, after, and that's the thing, after the war, after the war Germany needed men. Mm. Right, a lot of their men died in the war, so they needed men. So they opened the doors to to what do you call it to uh to open Turkey. borders basically, yeah. yeah. So that so that they could come in. Hey, well, I, yeah. well, I can speak on that. Yeah. I know because I used to watch the old Turkish movies from like what the sixties yeah. and all that, and that was a big thing. Oh, you know, oh, our sons, oh, my son's back from Germany, you know, mm. and he's wearing a suit and you know got a feather in the hat, and yeah. you know he, he brings the, like he'll bring like he'll come back to his village and he'll bring like a. Like a blender or a microwave or something yeah. like a, you know, some technological advancement, like, yeah. and then they'll be just there in the village, like, oh, oh, you know, all that, you know, being partakers of all that, you know, getting the. That was a big thing over there, man. That was a big thing. Of, of Germany was one of the first countries that they went, uh, mm. that they went, they went over to, man, and then other places after that. You know, there's a big presence of Turkish migrants going back to that generation. Yeah. Over in there, and why? Just that like you bring it out because of the World War, man. Yeah. You know. Why that country specifically? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So then he went in there, and then now, now they're all trying to. While he was winning World Cups for them, they loved the guy. Mm. Now guy ain't playing too well. Oh, oh. Now they're getting on them, getting. But, but, but why am I bringing this out? Because that there proves to, to, is that there's a way of identifying Israelites, mm. right? Because these curses, they go and find you. Like man's on, I think like three hundred thousand pounds a week at Arsenal, right? A week. You know, man's making all hella money, but these curses are still find the way. You know, he's proverbing the byword and all of that. Yep. It says, And overtake thee till thou be destroyed, because thou hearkest not unto the voice of the Lord thy power to keep his commandments and his statutes which he commanded thee, and they shall be upon thee for a sign and for a wonder and mm. upon thy seed forever. So wherever we're scattered, it's going to be a sign. That's one way that we know who the, who the Israelites are, man. Okay, through the Spirit. And by seeing what? Those, those curses upon them, man. Yeah. When they're destroyed, when they're getting messed up. It says, 
because thou servest not the Lord thy God with joyfulness and with gladness of heart for the abundance of all things. So when we all had it all that, we weren't serving the Lord we were there, uh, when we had all that, man. So mm. now we ain't got it, man. That's right. You know? And one thing that's going to happen to our enemies, right? In fact, let me read this last verse before I bring it out. Therefore shalt thou serve thine enemies which the Lord shall send against thee in hunger and in thirst and in nakedness and in the want of all things. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck until he have destroyed thee. And I've just got this quick precept. Yeah. Deuteronomy 30 and 7. And the Lord thy God will put all these curses upon thine enemies and on them that hate thee, which persecuted thee. And they hate us. Yeah. And they persecute us. Okay. But these curses are going to go upon our enemies when we're in, when we're in our heaven, the yeah. kingdom of heaven, yeah. man. The kingdom of the Israelites, man. You know, which is going to be the next rulership upon this earth when uh, the Messiah, Yahweh Shai, when he returns with them chariots, man, and puts up his people back onto the place that they are, that, that they are man. You know? Yeah. Hey, and you had, um, what you call, but they, they won't have, uh, which was the same flavor that we have in our captivity because we're in our captivity and we're still the best. Oh, yeah, yeah. You know, we're still the best. They ain't going to have that luxury because in the kingdom, we're going to be even better. That's right. <laughs> we're going to have, the floodgates going to be open, boy. Yeah, we're yeah. going to have, you know, innovations, you know, be, being brotherly, working together. Mm -hmm. Things are going to just flow in the spirit, man. Yeah, hey, hey, you said a key word, working together. Hey, when Jake's working together, not scheming each other, Jake, Jake be amazing, man. Mm. But we'd be amazed. He's right now, you know, you know, you know, is you can't even call him Jake. These niggas, you know, moving that nigger mentality where you know, able to switch and say, "Thou art um, you of your father, the devil." They move like Esau, man. Well, anytime Esau sees Jake coming together in some kind of mm. brotherly, you know, they're coming together and they're in unity, Esau infiltrate that to fuck that shit up, man. Just like he tried to mm. do with us, man. Okay, just like he tried to do with us, and you got these sellouts out there. Yeah. You know, different people that have sold out and, um, you know, and trying to bring in, you know, getting rid of the name and trying to bring away with doctrines. It's the same thing, man. They're trying to destroy that unity. But the thing they don't realize is that they're coming against the Most High. Because, hey, the men of the Most High, you know, starting with our apostles and elders at Great Moonstone, okay, and, and their elders, hey, we're, um, <laughs> hey, we're, 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 we're the testimony, man. Yeah. With a monument upon the earth, we're, we're, we're doing the right things and we're following the Lord, the Lamb, whatsoever we go with, okay? Not taking our hand off the plow, putting in the work and enduring until the Lord returns, man. Mm. You know? And and they, and they can't... And what is what did... Um, oh, what did the scripture say? It says... What did the Lord say to Peter? He said... Um, upon this rock, he said... Uh, he said, the gates of hell... Yeah, shall not prevail. Shall not prevail, man. You know? The, the elites of uh, Esau... And all their plans, it's not going to prevail against us, man. Because why? Because they're coming against you. How about Shemuel Shai? And they ain't going to win that, man. Okay. Happily, they'd be finding themselves coming against um, the most high, man. They ain't going to win because it's the, this is this is your How about Shemuel Shai show, man. Okay. And 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 uh, <laughs> hey, man. Jake's got all the flavor, man. Okay. The minute Jake gets together, that's when magic exactly. starts happening, man. Exactly. But exactly. you you put a bunch of devils in a the room, they just start talking about. Foolish thing, because they're because they're the children of fools. A scripture says, you know, they they gotta do some evil before the end of the day, man. Mm, mm. Right. I was just trying to um, because you know, I made a statement about the first uh, person to dance in the ring, so it was a Jake, and I said, but I'm I'm trying to look up uh, the the infam history, and I can't seem to find it. So. Okay. Um, right. Right. No, I mean I've I've seen it come up before. Yeah. Still, yeah, yeah. You know, um, I had a uh, quick scripture on these devils. Yeah. Right, this is Job chapter 30. I'm going to start from um, 3. For want and famine they were solitary, fleeing into the wilderness in former time, desolate and waste. From three, uh. Oh, from 1, yeah? <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> this is Job chapter 30, verse 1. But now they that are younger than I have me in derision, mm. whose fathers... They'll have me in derision. Hey, Esau, the way Esau looks at Jake right now is as if Jake is a piece of shit. Where he's over us, he's ruling over us, and he's doing all manner of wicked over us. Right? Which is why he puts this notion that all we're good for is sports and entertainment. Well, when Jake is so much uh, better than that. That's why he systematically uh, destroyed the schools that Jake are in. Because right? he's seen what happens when you put, when you allow Jake's to be in, uh, what do you call it, in forms of education, right? Uh, where, where they can prosper. Right? Mm -hmm. So you go to certain... I mean, over here in England, you have this thing called Teach First, right? 
where you basically have teach first teachers who, 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 who may never have wanted to be a teacher. But after university, in the six week holiday after university, they just say, hey, you know, six week holiday school after, you know, in the period after the guys finished university, hey, do you want to be a teacher? It give you a, a crash course and now you're a teacher and you're going into inner city uh, a troubled schools, quote unquote. Right, and then now you have them guys trying to uh, what do you call it? Teach, teach, Jake, man. You middle class toughs, man. Which with even an education system that's all set up because exactly. you try and go outside the curriculum that's been given to you yeah. as a teacher. I've seen teachers when I was in school. They be trying and go out a little bit out of the curriculum. That shit gets corrected, boy. Exactly. The next day, you know, exactly. after a while, you know, you just see this teacher. You know, well, unfortunately, we're not going to have to do this anymore. Yeah. I promise you, kids, that we were going to do this, yeah. but. Uh, it just seems that they're just not, they don't want to do it, yeah. you know? Something that like all, the, all the children are like, yeah, we're going to learn all yeah, this. Yeah, 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 you know, yeah. a fun way of learning. Because yeah. <laughs> learning should be like going out there, you, oh, you know, exactly, exactly. you know, you might go to a pond, you might see the, the creature, you might, mm. you know, try things and going out there and climb a tree and learn yeah. different things. And hey, what, what, hey, what does this say? Uh, my, my, let me get this real quick. Because well, he said learning should be fun. Well, this is uh, Revelation 10 and 10. Right, it says, and I took the little book out of the angel's hand and ate it up, and it was in my mouth sweet as honey. And so when you eat it, you you get, you know, you 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 know, eating the raw, you reading the scriptures, right? You know, it feels good. It's tasting, it's tasting, it's tasting, mm. right? You know, but when you, you know, but then it goes on saying, that as soon as I'd eaten it, my belly was bitter, right? So, the, but that's when you start living it, you start, you know, the, everything spoken of you in the scriptures. Because we're start, in a messed up state, yeah. As well. You know, he, he, it's a harsh thing to eat. Exactly. He, he that increases the knowledge increases in sorrow. Mm. Yeah, roughly paraphrasing. But the point is that, you know, these when you get these scriptures, man, it's, it's beautiful, it's nice, you're eating it up, and it's enjoyable, man. Mm -hmm. Right? Continuing this. Yep. Right. It says, Whose fathers I would have disdained to have set were the dogs of my flock. Right, and that's, and that's, that's the. You, you, uh, uh, let me get this in Habakkuk real quick. Right, so Habakkuk 2 and. Verse uh, four. Behold, his soul which is lifted up is not upright in him, right? So that's referring to Esau. His soul is not lifted up, right, man? A J U A. Hey, look. Hey, in fact, in fact, take take a look at the uh, contrast between uh, Esau and, uh, and and Israel and then J, right? J when they get dogs, <laughs> they make them into fighting animals, man. Which you know is, is wicked, yeah. But they make them into fighting animals. Esau fucks them. Damn. <laughs> Damn. <It's laughs> that says, uh, it says, Yea, whereto might the strength of their hands profit me, in whom old age was perished? For want and famine they were solitary, fleeing into the wilderness in former time desolate and waste. Who cut up, yeah, no, wait, wait, yeah, yeah. Who cut up mallows by the bushes and juniper roots for their meat. They were driven forth from among men. Right, yeah. They cried after them as after a thief because that's that's all he is. The M.O. of the so-called white man is to steal. Oh, good. Get it for you. Oh, okay. Let's get it in the scriptures. I'm going to show you what the M.O. of the so-called white man is. You, you got John 10? Yeah. All right, because then there's a, there's a contrast. Hey, go on, right, it says, John 10 and 10 says, The thief cometh not but for to steal. And to? And to kill. And? To destroy. That's all the, that's, that's what Esau's a virus. That's what he does, man. He just takes, takes, and takes. That's what he does. He ain't coming out with something of his own. Mm. He's just taking, man. The only thing that he's got is a sword, and that's because the Lord gave him the sword. Yeah. And, yeah. and the sword is going to be his own destruction. You know, live with the sword. Shall die by the sword, man. Uh, and let's read what the Lord said he's going to do. He says, I am come that they may have, li they might have life. Have my, that might have life, yeah. Yep. And that they might have it more abundantly. Right, so when the Lord... Hey, when we're really put up into the into where we need to be in the kingdom of heaven, okay, life more abundantly. That's when life is gonna be lived abundantly. We ain't really living right now. We're just surviving until the Lord comes. Okay, we're just enjoying until the until the Lord comes, man. Can I get that for you real quick? Okay. Hebrews thirteen fourteen. For here we have no continuing city, but yep. we seek one to come. Yep, that's right, man. Straight into the point. We're not we're not we're not trying to be part of this right now, man. We don't have a continuing city here, mm. okay. There is no beauty in Jerusalem right now, man. The yep. Lord must beautify Jerusalem, man. Yeah. Okay? Then the whole earth is going to know again. Oh, these are the... Whoa, wisdom of five. Yeah, yeah, yeah. These are the people. These whoa. The people. Everyone's going to know. Yeah. And first and foremost, they're going to know the name of the Lord, exactly. man. Everyone's going to know. Everyone's going to fear, yeah. man. 
Yeah. Just as it was in the time of Egypt, man. That's right. Before we were established, and now we're going to get established again, man. And judges too. And, you know, just to bring it round back to the topic. And everyone's going to know who to attribute the glory to, man. Mm. You know, not not, what, not no slave names or whatever. Well, but they, they go, oh, no, hey, you know, they, hey, they can do it because they're Israelites. Israelites, which means prince of the yeah. power. Yeah. Which means they're going to know yeah. about your how about Shmuel Shai. Yeah. Right? Yeah, they do. They don't mind having American as the great, uh, what you call it, as the, uh, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? As the champion of the world. Mm. You know, whether it's a black American, quote unquote, black American, whatever, what have you. Yeah. Right? But they, hey, they didn't want to have, say, the, you know, Haitian, uh, what you call it, uh, Osaka, whatever, what have you. Mm. They didn't want to say that, man. Well, because that gives too much uh, 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 glory. To something that they don't want to glorify, man. Yeah. Right? Because if it's football or whatever, but tennis, that's one of them predominantly still, quote-unquote, white sports, quote-unquote. You know, despite the fact that you have uh, the Williams sisters. But after them, they ain't really, you know, that many dark... Not saying that they're on, but it's predominantly white sport. Right? So to have a Haitian then winning the championships, they they going to be like, yo, shit. Yeah. Done on that? Yeah. Alright, this is uh, back in Joel. I'm just going to read up to nine points in nine. Mm. It says, To dwell in the cliffs of the valleys, in the caves of the earth, and in the rocks. Caucasian. Among the bushes they braid, under the nettles they were gathered together. They were children of fools, mm. yea, children of base men. They were violent in the earth. And when you go into these, um, you know, uh, museums and all that, which they're going off, they're saying billions of years and this and that, the first man and all that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But these cavemen living in them caves and all that, that's, uh, you know, all looking all raggedy and messed up. That's Esau, man. Yeah. In, you know, in, in, the, in that time of Joel, that's yeah, yeah, Esau, yeah. man. They cried after them as, as, as after a thief. Yeah. You see him and you're like, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. get out of here, yeah. man. You know, shoe and all that, you know. Hey, Esau, and, and that's uh, something, you know, in regards to the scriptures that uh, the elder brother said, right, uh, Billy Bell, the elder brother of no, I can't. He was basically like, he, there are so many copies of these scriptures that you can't, uh, what do you call it, you can't change the scripture, but you can change your understanding. Mm. Just like how all these caveman drawings or whatever, what have you, Esau just changed the understanding, man. Yeah. He made it seem like it was billions of years ago, because if the world found out that was, in, you know, maybe a thousand or so years ago, or whatever, what have you? A couple thousand years yeah, ago, that was him. Thousand, yeah, they, yeah. They, you know, they, they people are gonna start looking at Esau different. Even. Yeah, yeah, they're gonna start looking at Esau different. Like, yeah, because they're off in the caves again when we were ruling. Yeah, yeah, yep. Caucasian and all that. Yeah. <laughs> so like, it's like you know, as, as that point goes to, they had to just change the narrative on the story. And let's be real, Ark. I haven't got access to a dating machine, and that's one of the things that they uh, that they hide behind. Yeah. And the fact that you can't, as an individual, go and find this shit out for yourself. Yeah, and that's so that's part of that destruction. Iconoclasm, for yeah. example, destroying the images. That's you know in the Renaissance period. Yeah, that's all part of that, man. Uh, this is the last verse. Is the point? And now am I their song? Mm. Yea, am I, I am their byword. You know, going to show. Hey, that that's pretty much the predicament that our people are in. No matter what we do, man. No matter what we. No matter what. I'm gonna give an example. A so-called um, black man, okay, you know, a Judah or whatever, no matter what he, or Haitian or whatever, whatever he does, he's just going to be looked upon as the, 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 the piece of shit on the earth, man. Yeah. Okay. Whereas, we're the top, we're the top of the earth, man. We're the, we're the best, you know. That's right. But, you know, they're going to find that out in order. When, when the Lord returns, they're going to find that out, man. And they're going to find out in, a, in an awesome way. That's right. You know. Yeah. I'll, I'll grab this. Uh, it's Ecclesiastes 10 7. It says, I have seen servants upon horses. Right? And who are these servants? My horses represent power, positions of power, whatever, what have you. And these servants are Esau, man. These even are so called white people. You read. Uh... Are you about to say it? Yeah. Alright. Uh, This is the blessing of Jacob. Genesis chapter 27, um, verse 28. Therefore, the Most High give thee of the dew of the heaven mm -hmm. and the fatness of the earth and plenty of corn and wine. Let people serve thee mm -hmm. and nations bow down to thee. Mm -hmm. 
be Lord over thy brethren, mm -hmm. and let thy mother's sons bow down to thee. <laughs> cursed be everyone that curseth thee, Ooh. and blessed be he that blesseth thee. <laughs> that's, right. that's right. Oh man. Now God, I, yeah, hey, 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 that's uh, that's talking about Esau, man. Right, he, he, we're we're gonna no sorry, the blessing is to my Jacob. Blessing is for Jacob, but Jacob. But that those is uh, mother's son. Mother's gonna... son. That's talking about Esau, man. Mm -hmm. Right, so he his natural position is to be underneath us, man. And that's what it means to be blessed. That's, yeah, for people Supposed to bow to down to you. Yeah, yeah. what's been going into, man? Yeah, right. How was bringing out? Yeah, you know, it's, it's how people bow down to you. And what happened when 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 Jacob uh, came out the womb? He held first the heel of Esau, man. Right, to show that he's gonna pull him down and he's gonna be on top. Right, you read uh, when when they were still in the womb. What's so a one people? Shall be stronger than the other, man. The elder shall serve the younger. Oh, man. I was just thinking something just now. Yeah. You know, I don't know if we're going to close out or whatever, but I just had a thought, right? The Babylonian captivity. Mm. Who was the top person in charge after the top, after the, the heathen? Yeah. Daniel. Daniel. Who, the, Egyptian the Egyptian captivity. Who was the top person in charge? Joseph. Joseph. Yeah. Who were always the top people? Yeah. It was always... Jake, man. And, and Egypt would have fallen were it not for Joseph, man. Yeah. Joseph had the dream, mm -hmm. right? And then that dream meant that, you know, rather the Lord gave him the dream. The dream meant that, they, 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 what you call it? Uh, or rather, Egypt, would, you know, would, is, is great because of Joseph, man. Yeah. Right? You know, all the corn and you had the people that you read that up to the end. You had the people basically saying, look, we have no more to sell you. Because they sold him everything for that corn. Until ultimately they had nothing to sell but themselves, right? which is what they did. And that's how Egypt became a great empire. So it ain't too far fetched to say that, hey, Jake, uh, what'd you call it? Well, hey, really, you got to read the scriptures to know that information, man. Right? Whereas, you know, in the world, it's, you know, it's, you know, these Egyptians, these whatever, that's who gets the glory. Right? Whereas, really, it's Jake. And in each captivity, you've got Jake just making things great, making things amazing. Right? But Jake don't get the credit for it like that, man. Yeah. But that's all going to change. But I'll finish this up. It says, I've seen servants upon horses. I believe we'll explain what that means. And princes, what well, Yasha Allah, he prince of the power, mm -hmm. walking as servants upon the earth. Right, you, you was it? Is uh, Isaiah or Jeremiah? Is he a servant? Is he a slave? Yeah, is he a homeborn slave? Is he a homeborn slave? Might be in Jeremiah. I don't know what it is. Yeah, but yeah. I believe Jeremiah 2 or something Jeremiah like that. Jeremiah 2. It's either 2 or 4, maybe. Let's have a look. Uh, yep. This is Jeremiah 2 and 14. Is Israel's servant? Is he a homeborn slave? Why is he spoiled? Right, right now, Jake be happy as servants and slaves. Right, as we, as we go into, when Jake come up to the camp and they see the sign, right, they always asking about Esau. It's that Stockholm Syndrome. Why? Right? Because, hey, they can't imagine a world without master. Right, even these militant, uh, quote unquote, you know, uh, 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 Hebrews. In their mind, it's all about master, man. It's all about master. That's why you have polite and then say, you know, ah, oh, yeah, you know, back to Africa, back to Africa, but still live in Hollywood. Yeah. Right? If you was all about that, why didn't you get a plot of land? Like, let's say you didn't want to move back to Africa. That was too much of a culture shock. Why not get a plot of land, right, in the middle of the jungle somewhere, in the middle of some open forest? Right? Why do you have to go to which you call the, 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 the pinnacle of Eden, one of the pinnacles of Eden? Right? You have people, I want to go to Hollywood. Right? That's their, uh, what, what, what they desire to do. You know, if you're all about Africa, why aren't you, you know, if you still wanted the luxuries of America, why do you have to go Hollywood? Yeah, but I believe we've hit the point. Yeah, yeah. You know, uh, for the spirit, yeah. we'll go through the spirit. Lord's will that was edifying till the next time. Say shalom. Shalom.